Hey everybody, this is Zach with Premier RV out here in Bluegrass, Iowa. I am standing in one of the all new Ember Touring 28 MBHs. Let's go check it out. All right, everybody, we're gonna start on the outside here. First thing I'm gonna do is touch base on the front compartment and then we'll swing around and hit the inside. So one thing you'll notice that light just popped on. You do have your motion sensor light in here. Um, you've got your charge controller for any solar that you're adding on, and you've also got one other way you can light it up. Get that really nice um, straight bar LED light uh, that brightens it up in here uh, a lot. You can see on the other side, we'll get to that here in just a second, um, but your battery disconnect is going to be over there, as well as your TPMS system. One thing on these baggage doors on the Touring Edition is um, they're inch thick. They're super sturdy. You don't have them wobbling around and they're doing all metal um, latches and it's a dual latch. So you're getting a really nice tight seal. Slam latches for both of these as well. So you don't have to worry about that. Prepped for side marker cameras, as well as something that uh, I'm gonna go into a lot more detail, but these lights themselves um, work in tandem with uh, Ember's exclusive, uh, basically lane keeping assist technology, uh, not necessarily a blind spot monitor, but it kind of functions in that fashion. Um, so we'll hit on it when I hit around the backside of the camper, but this light is going to turn on. If you go to signal, say you're trying to turn this way, um, and there's somebody back here and, uh, the camper senses them, this light is going to flash and let you know that, hey, it is not safe to change lanes. Now, another cool thing is um, this front storage box. It's similar to the Overland series, where you're getting one of these. Um, we've got a, a water seal on this top compartment, so if you do put some stuff up here, you don't have to worry about anything uh, getting wet. Um, you can use it almost as like a little tool storage or something like that. And then the rest of it in the middle here, as you can see, I'm not going to take it completely off. Eh, I might as well. Um, is your two LP tanks on the left here and on the right hand side, oops, sorry. Um, on the right hand side is going to be battery storage. That is a vented compartment. If you want to stick two batteries in there, you definitely can. And then this pops off, it just slides on like this. And then latches on the edges. All right, swinging over to this side here is the uh, Nautilus docking station. All of your gate valve handles are gonna be in here. You've got a hot and cold um, outside shower with quick connect, um, water heater bypass out here as well. And you do still get the side solar prep over here, as you can see, battery disconnect is going to be the red knob that twists and pops off. And then below is going to be your TPMS uh, system prep. So tire pressure monitor system. You've got a standard gas electric water heater on this guy. And coming over here, we're going to go underneath. Front outlet is going to be up here. That's going to be your fresh water drain, which is this guy here. The only handle that is not in that front docking is that freshwater handle, uh, drain handle, sorry. Um, and then uh, sewer outlet here is um, right next to your low point drains, which are um, right over here. These guys right there. All right. Now, swinging around to the back a little bit here. Sorry, I'm out in the shop taking this video, so it's a, I'm a little restricted on space. Your secondary sewer outlet is gonna be back here. This is gonna be for your bathroom. The front one's gonna be for your galley, just your kitchen sink. Um, you do have the uh, quick drop stabilizing arms, um, both front and rear, so all four corners. Those come down, crank down like normal. And then there is a secondary arm that goes vertical uh, that's gonna give them extra bracing and extra stability. Now, these are stabilizing arms only. They are not load bearing. Now here is gonna be the other part of the uh, lane assist system. 
Um, this is basically a little radar detector. Um, this guy is going to keep an eye on what's behind you, what's going to be potentially in your blind spot, or if you've got somebody coming up, if they get past this and they're right over here, you'll be able to see them in your mirrors. However, if they don't get detected by this, it's not going to trigger up front. So that is not the end all be all of it's going to keep your blind spot safe all the time, but it is definitely going to tell you if there is somebody where I'm standing or close. Granted, if you're in another lane over here, it's definitely still going to see you. But like I said, if it gets in between the, um, this device here in the front there, this is not pointing forward. This is only pointing backwards at this angle. So this cone going this way, nothing this way. Keep that in mind when you're going down the road. Rear mounted spare tire, um, backup camera prep as well. And you still have that collapsible ladder to get up on the roof. That is a fully walkable roof. Um, another thing with the touring edition, you're getting a more um, conventional style roof construction because it is a ducted roof ACs instead of a direct drop with that Truma system. So I'll touch on that a little more when we go inside. We do have still the accessory receiver. That's gonna be a 250 pound receiver on that. Um, if you wanna put a bike rack, kayak rack, extra storage tray, something like that, um, they've got you covered. You still get the outside kitchen on this guy. Triple burner, um, it's the extra wide griddle. Um, I don't know if I can pull this off one handed. I definitely can't. Um, but it's uh, kind of the newer style flat griddle cooktop, like a Blackstone that slides out on that tray. You do have the little amber lighting in here. So you've got something, if it's dark, uh, just a little bit to see extra outlets in there as well. And then you do have a little cube fridge um, out here next to your outside kitchen. Your main entry steps are gonna be um, your adjustable feet solid steps. Uh, these are gonna be the Lippert solid step. And then your front, the bedroom step, is a trifold, um, but you do get um, the extra bracing on that. So this will come down, the solid stance. So this will come down, unpin these, and then you've got an adjustable uh, brace for that bottom step. So it's still gonna be solid. You're not gonna get the bounce on it. Outside spray port um, over here on your door side, quick connect fitting so you can put whatever you want on there as long as um, it's this fitting going in. More outlets out here as well. We're gonna swing to the inside now. Now the 28 MBH, um, the MBH stands for Murphy Bunkhouse. Now the bunkhouse aspect of it is gonna be really similar to um, let's say the 221 uh, MBH um, Overland series with your two double bunks with the rear one being uh, half foldable so that you've got extra convertible storage space here. Outlets, USBs on each side. Now when this is in the down position, it's gonna sit on these black cleats here. So that way it's braced. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything there. And then when it's up, it just slides right into this right here. And then it comes down, sits on those cleats, and then you fold your bunk mattress back over. All right. Now into the bathroom here, you do have a really nice little shower surround. Um, I really like these. I think it just looks modern and it looks, um, it looks clean, it looks super clean lines. Uh, it is a one piece shower surround. Um, you do not have to seal the top on this. It is, uh, it's loose lay. So that way temperature fluctuations, you don't have to deal with anything bubbling or getting crazy wavy. Um, cause your camper is going to go through temperature flux. It, it just, it's a fact of campers. If you live somewhere where your camper temperature never has to change, let me know because uh, I might move there and have to join you because I do love it here in the Midwest. But it gets hot in the summer and it gets real cold in the winter. As you can see in the video, super deep. Let's see if I can get in there, show you the depth. That goes all the way to the rear wall. And you've got four of these super deep shelves. 
porcelain stool in the bathroom, um, shelving across. With the Touring Edition, you are still going to get those Euro-style windows that open all the way up. And then you've got a nice size medicine cabinet, really awesome accent lighting, and you do actually get storage in there. The 12 volt vent fan can be controlled by a switch on the wall. All you gotta do is flip it, and that'll kick that on. If I actually have it on, it'll kick it on. So my apologies, switch has to be on the fan too. Um, but you do get storage underneath the sink. Uh, a nice thing that Ember is doing now is you've got shut off valves at all of your water fixtures on the inside. So at that sink, at your main sink, um, I just think that's an awesome handy feature. We actually went with the trifold sofa on this guy. So your back cushions come off and this comes flips out. Um, there are legs that come down and then the back behind the cushions flip down as well, just for an extra sleeper if you need it. You've got the freestanding table and chairs in this one instead of a booth. You can option this with a booth, uh, but their table and chairs are gorgeous. I love it. Solid wood countertop here, um, and it's just really well built. We just got to tour the factory here shortly, um, or <laughs> not that long ago, I guess, beginning of the month, um, and just watching them put this stuff together was a treat to say the least you've got not a true flush mounted floor slide uh but it's pretty dang close i don't know if you can uh tell in the video probably not there is a little bit of a bevel here a little bit of a raise um but that's because you got the glide bar so the biggest thing with that glide bar is making sure that um your slide floor itself has space to run um, and something to run on top of when it comes in and out um, now the slide mechanism itself, I'm not going to be able to get a good view on, um, but it is the BAL exact slide. So it's kind of a hybrid between a Schwinn tech and a cable slide, and it's going to come straight in, straight out. Um, and then it'll tuck down into a little lip. So that way it can sit really, um, as flush to the floor as possible for you. Really handy slide system. Uh, you've got individual motors on each corner, and um, those can be manually overrode uh, in multiple spots. There's one more in that front compartment, so you can manually run the slide in um, electronically. If, for example, an issue with your control panel happens and that stops working, you can still run your slide in and out without having to crank it. Um, one thing I did not touch on over here is the control panel itself. You've got dual max air fans. The second one is gonna be right here next to your AC in your kitchen. The other one you saw in the bathroom. Thermostat's gonna be here. Dimmer switch for your main lighting. And then this is for your water heater, obviously. We've got electric on this side, gas on this side, and then your standard ember control panel. Um, there's this huge closet right inside the door. And when I say huge, um, I mean it. I mean, you've got tons of storage in here. Your Wi-Fi prep is in here. So if you wanted to put something in there, it's out of sight, out of mind. You don't have to fiddle with it. You've got these nice um, deep shelves with lips. Um, and another cool thing, I actually really like this. Fuses on the top, breakers on the bottom, completely out of the way in this nice box. Um, it almost looks like a safe. I thought it was at first, but it is not. That's gonna be your fuses and your breakers. Uh, if you didn't notice in the video, the light is a motion sensor that kicked on as soon as I opened the door. Coming right around on the forward facing side of your closet, it's going to be um, your entertainment center. So you've got storage up above, which admittedly, it's not going to be huge storage right here because you've got that big old closet behind it, but it is still here. Um, you've got your TV. Now with these TVs, uh, it is a combo TV and sound bar. If you can kind of see it, all the hookups are going to be back there. Your booster's back there. Um, but with that being a TV sound bar, your radio is in there as well. So all your radio controls are right there. You've got an outlet right here. If you ever need access to replacing your fireplace, which is 
handily right here and plugged in to that outlet. So if something goes awry and you wanna swap it out yourself, you can do so very, very easily. Storage drawer underneath your fridge. That's gonna be a 12 volt fridge. Um, so you can run that off of just your batteries, run it down the road. And uh, the batteries obviously will charge from your vehicle or when you're plugged into shore power. So you can keep that uh, fridge rolling. Nice thing with the two rings, you're getting a bigger oven than in a traditional pull behind travel trailer. You're getting a 30 inch oven, stainless steel front, um, stainless steel finished drawer for the bottom as well. Um, nice deep drawer, so super easy access there. You are gonna get, um, not on this one, but on these guys, your normal drawers, all are gonna be soft close as well three burner cooktop um, with a trifold. So this grate right here, this can come off super easy and uh, for cleaning if you need to. You do have the stainless steel Furion hood. Um, there is a light with a fan as well. Uh, and then again, sticking with the theme, stainless steel Furion cabinet face, um, microwave face. Goodness, forgive me there. Um, it just, it looks super clean. I actually just, I love the look of it. It looks really sharp. Um, now, your overhead cabinets are not soft close, just the drawers, uh, but you do have solid wood face on those overhead cabinets. You got a stainless steel undermount that's a dual compartment sink now. Um, and you do actually get a little bit of extra counter space with this guy that just flips up. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this, because I'm not gonna be able to pull it off two-handed, um, you're gonna have to pull those little pins to put it back in place, these little arms right here, uh, and there is a travel strap for it as well. So first time you go to pull this guy up, make sure you undo that travel strap first or else you're gonna be yanking and thinking you're breaking something. On this particular unit, we optioned it with a second AC. Both of these ACs, um, are ducted as well. So here's your second zone thermostat. Both ACs are gonna be in your main area. Um, so you're not going to have that rumbling uh, in the bedroom. Speaking of the bedroom, Ember's doing something pretty unique with these, giving you the option to have a Murphy bed as your main. Um, I love it because one, having a second place to just sit and relax and hang out that's not the foot of a bed if all my kids are being crazy in the back of the camper, because I've got three of them and another on the way, um, I got a little bit of an escape here. Uh, another really handy thing is you can basically use this as an office if you really wanted. You've got a nice little closet here for your own stuff, as well as any office stuff you wanna hook up. You can, um, you can hook up a TV in here. There is a backer for it. Um, on this wall so you can pop a TV up there and uh, it's just it's an awesome little spot if you've got a bunch of guests over and maybe you want to get the kids out of the way and you want to use the main living area send them in here have them watch TV play games or something just hang out they've got their own little space and you can entertain everybody else in your main area wardrobe closets on the sides as well so these are going to have um, bars that you can hang close up, as well as those couple of little hooks in that front closet that I showed you. You've still got the big Stargazer window, uh, Euro style window. That's still gonna have the exact same um, screen, sorry, screen and um, blackout shade. Now, another thing, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it in any of my other videos, the other side of this has a radiant barrier. So it's gonna be a reflective material on this side. So if you've got this closed off, it's reflecting that sunlight back instead of just absorbing it into, um, into the shade. Now, it's gonna get a little close here again while I do this, uh, set up this Murphy bed. Um, but I wanna show you, it is doable, one-handed, fairly easily. Um, pull from the bottom and out, that lays flat. The Murphy bed itself unclasps here.
and sets down. Now, one thing I'm going to touch on before I flip the mattress over is this nice little thing. It's not a big deal when you look at it, but the number one complaint that we get with Murphy beds is the edge of the bed feels like it doesn't have any support. So if you try to get off at the edge of the bed, it just feels loose. It doesn't feel like you have any support and feels like you're going to break something. Ember added this in as just a quick little feature of you flip that over and you've got full support for your full length of your mattress. All right. So that comes over, slide it into place. And I don't know if you can kind of see, I don't know if I can get it on the, on the video here. Um, but this is sitting up, you've got maybe an inch and a half where that isn't 100% covered. And you're, I mean, it's, this is, this is great. It's solid. I don't feel like I'm going to slide. Or I don't feel like I'm bending anything. Um, super handy. You'll see this amber lighting back here as well. Now that's all controlled from this switch here. There is a dimmer on that. So if you want to tone it down, if you're reading something before bed, you can, um, let's see if I can get it without getting too far. You do have individuals on each side as well. Let me go to this side where I can actually see. Oops, hang on one sec. Um, individual lights as well in these little storage nooks. So you can flip that on, you can flip the overhead light off. You've got USBs and outlets back here as well. All right, that is gonna pretty much do it for our tour on the Ember Touring Edition 28 MBH. Uh, again, this is Zach with Premier RV. I've been super excited to make all these videos for you guys, and we really appreciate you guys watching. If you want more information, give us a call. 563-424-7788. We're out here in Bluegrass, Iowa. We love doing what we're doing. We've been doing it for a gosh darn long time. And um, if you like watching this content, subscribe. Stay tuned. We're going to keep trying to do these tours um, and all sorts of other stuff down the road. So thank you for watching. You guys have a wonderful day.